hey guys what's up welcome back to another vlog i am currently at a red light right now but i'm driving to go check out a co-working space so i'm just getting like a full-blown tour of this co-working space that's specifically geared uh in my city for entrepreneurs young creatives photographers um small business owners and stuff like that and it's basically just like a creative space with offices and they have like creative studios shared offices memberships and stuff like that i've never seen it i'm super excited to go look at it but i don't honestly know what to expect so i'm not like getting too in over my head because it could be like really expensive or just like not at all what i'm looking for but i am going to check it out and i am super excited hey guys so i'm back home now and i just finished eating lunch was a super late lunch it's literally like already 2 30 but just had some leftovers for last night but i wanted to tell you guys the office space that i checked out was so cool i don't know for sure if i'm gonna end up like moving into an office space or anything i'm just kind of considering the idea it's completely modern like brand new inside they have tons of options for office spaces they have like container spaces open like shared office spaces and then they have like traditional private offices and the coolest part is they have a creator studio so i can do like shooting photography doing videos they're gonna hold classes there i mean it's just like such a cool concept i can't believe that it actually is something that's available where i live because i feel like this kind of thing is usually only in like big cities but yeah half the day is literally already over and I still have so much to do before the drop tomorrow the so last night while Chad and I were watching Netflix I literally prepped so many little thank you gifts to save myself time when I'm packaging orders tomorrow so I typically like to throw something in just as like a little thank you I usually will do a coupon if you end up spending 75 or more um, but I prepped them all this time to save myself time and I am so glad that I did because it's such a passive thing and I was able to just do it while I was watching TV. These are all hair ties and scrunchies so some of them are like the coil ones and then all of the other ones are like actual little scrunchies. I also went through and got all of the jewelry separated and I'm including some bunny stickers in with any of the jewelry so if you guys order the twisted gold hoops you will get a little some bunny sticker with it so I prepped all of those. And then I wrap the jewelry boxes that have the lightning strike necklaces, which are also going to be available in silver because so many of you guys wanted me to come out with something that was silver. I just personally love gold, but I know a lot of people like silver. And then this back here is all of the sunglasses. So obviously I have some of the 90s vibe sunglasses and then I have a few of the Carmen 2.0 sunglasses. But the newest pair is going to be the Cali Classic sunglasses. These are a complete dupe for my round Ray-Bans that I wear every single day. I was just wearing them in the clip before this in the car so if you're someone who's had your eye on those super trendy round ray-bans definitely check these out they're coming to the store tomorrow at 10 a.m i put them literally right beside my round ray-bans and they're exact same size you can hardly even tell a difference here's a little look at the new arrivals can you guys tell that i am all about the neutrals lately this is one of the most exciting things it's this oversized tie-dye t-shirt that's in the beige color Just finished tagging stuff. I'm gonna take a break because I got a massive order in from UPS. So I'm gonna go through this new inventory that is gonna be for the next drops coming in September. Thought I would show you guys a little behind the scenes of how I shoot my jewelry for the website. So I basically just grab my ring light and then I always use a white sheet or a white pillowcase and just shine the ring light on it so it looks really pretty. And then I grab the jewelry that I'm gonna be shooting. And right now I'm about to shoot this gold lightning strike necklace that's dropping tomorrow. And I'll just lay it out really pretty and start taking the photos on my DSLR.
I've been working for a few hours now and tonight is Taco Tuesday. So Chad just got home with a bunch of tacos from this little Mexican restaurant that's like really close to where we live. You guys this before, but we haven't got them in forever. Like classic Mexican street tacos. So this is chicken. Oh, this is a different one. Ground beef. Oh, we haven't tried that. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't done the ground beef yet. Looks good. And then Chad's got, what is that? Pork. Pork. Pastor. Cool. Um, I usually just eat the chicken, but I'll probably try the ground beef. And then they give us sauce. Okay, so it is now almost 8 p.m. and I'm officially finished with work for the night. I actually managed to get everything done for this drop tonight, so everything is ready for tomorrow. I don't have to do anything in the morning last minute, which is gonna be really nice. Normally, I always do my drops on Fridays, but I'm doing it on Wednesday because I'm going away this weekend. So it just like makes more sense for me to be able to package up your guys' orders from this drop rather than you have to wait. So that's why I decided to move this drop to Wednesday, but it only gave me, you know, two days to do what I normally do in four days. So I had to work really hard between yesterday and today, but I got everything done and I am so proud of myself. Now we are living. I know somebody's gonna ask, this is just Sauvignon Blanc from Costco, it's the Kirkland brand. It's actually really good. I don't mind their wine at all. Super cheap and super good. I'm about to take my makeup off and then I'm gonna do one of my favorite peeling masks. I only do these once in a while because they're a little more harsh on your skin, but whenever you take them off, they literally feel like you have a brand new layer of skin, which is so nice. So I have my makeup wipe and of course my little brush here. Not really a brush, but so, um, mask applicator and when i get out of the bath chad and i are gonna watch our show blacklist which we are just so obsessed with i want to like talk about the show but i don't know if there's anyone who like just started it because i've been talking about it so i don't want to like say anything but oh my gosh it's really crazy and i'm just obsessed now i will put on the innisfree poor clearing clay peel off mask with super volcanic clusters <laughs> it really is like amazing though seriously you just have to be careful that you don't put it anywhere that would be sensitive because it is a peel off mask so you're gonna be peeling it off of your skin i like to do a pretty good layer so that way when it comes off you're like peeling it all off at once. It's so satisfying. I actually showed this mask, like a first impressions when I first got it. This was like months ago. Um, but I'll show you guys whenever I peel it off. I'm just gonna chill in the bath for a while and let this thing harden. And I'm not gonna bother on my forehead because you can see my forehead is like the clearest part of my entire skin. So, I've been trying to just like avoid putting any extra product there other than like moisturizer and like a serum or something, but I don't feel like there's any reason to put anything there because it's like such a good part of my skin. I'm also not going to do my nose. I'm just literally going to do like the lower half of my face because this is typically my spot where like my pores tend to get clogged, so I like to use this mask for that purpose. I'm going to be reading this book while I'm in the bath and so many of you guys said that you love Colleen Hoover and that she's one of your favorite authors so I will definitely check out more of her books whenever I do finish this one but so far this one like immediately starts off pretty good. I'm back. I had a really nice bath um but I can't move my face and I'm so tired now. Like I don't know what happened. I was like wide awake and now I'm like super tired but I want to show you guys how you peel this off and how cool it is. Look at this. It's like amazing and it feels so good. I will link it in the description <laughs> if you guys want to try it. It's like the best peel off mask ever. 
and then underneath your skin is like so soft well i am gonna end this vlog here because i want to finish editing and upload it tonight because i now have an official upload schedule if you guys looked at the description on my last video or if you're in the facebook group then you already know but I'll be uploading vlogs on Tuesdays and Fridays and then I'll have a dedicated upload every Wednesday and then I'll have like a bonus vlog at some point throughout the week on one of the other days. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.